I woke up in the morning, everything started spinning, and it's this violent, the room goes like a spiral into space, you know, you feel like you're flying off the bed. I knew immediately what it was because this is my job. <laughs> So we have the cochlea, the hearing part of the ear, and then we have the semicircular canals, the spinning sensors. So what happens is the particles that are in the utricle can sometimes get into this opening. When you lie down in bed at night, the particles can just fall in by gravity. And then when you sit up in the morning, they get all the way down here to the bottom of the ear. But when the particles build up to a big enough clump that they form a piston in the canal, then when you move your head like this, the particles move a sensor in this structure and you feel that is spinning. And I knew that the particles were here, located in this ring. And so I had to figure out how to get them out. So I made a little model with my hands like this and I twisted and turned it, figuring out a new way to do it. And I realized if I went forward, I could get the particles out. I, I made up the half somersault, did it, came up, and it was gone. So you start on your knees and you tip your head straight up to look at the ceiling and you hold that position for a few seconds. You'll usually feel a little bit of a spinning when you do that. That helps start the particles moving. Then you put your head completely upside down, tucking your chin a little bit so your head isn't perfectly vertical. It's actually tucked under slightly towards your knees. So during that time, you turn your head towards your right elbow if you're going to treat the right ear. If you're treating the left ear, you turn the head to face your left elbow. The side that you get the most dizzy when you're lying down and rolling over. So if you roll over to your right and that makes the spin and you roll to your left and it goes away or it's not as bad, then you have it in your right ear. In that position, the particles will start to move and you will feel the spinning. You wait for all the spinning to stop or you can count to 30 and then very quickly raise your head to back level. So your head and your back are on the same level, but you're keeping your head turned at that 45 degree angle. Then you again wait for the spinning to stop, 15 to 30 seconds, and then you bring your head fully upright so that you end up kneeling again. And in that position, the particles should leave the ear. But sometimes it takes four or five repetitions. The safest thing is to repeat it with 15 minute breaks between each attempt because that allows the particles to fully settle out away from the opening. If you can't get rid of it, even after trying it repeatedly, you can always see a doctor and go in and have other maneuvers done. People who were given this maneuver as opposed to being given the Epley maneuver, which is also often used, were much less likely to return and in fact none of them that received this maneuver had to return. Now I don't have to see the same faces over and over coming in and saying, oh, I need okay. another treatment because they're capable of taking it on. It has allowed me to see more people who are new and have never heard of the treatment and teach it to them.